Today is November the 10th, and the market is reacting to news that um, Apple may have cut its supply chain orders by 10%, and the stock is down $4.18, or 3.5%. But let's take a look at that in the bigger picture, and then let's look at the analyst and his particular recommendations and what drove him to suggest this about the Apple stock. First of all, we have the daily chart, and here's where we had that death cross of the 50 and 200 um, EMA. I noted, noted yesterday on Twitter that now the 50 MA is starting to move up towards a flat 200, and it won't take long for the 50 to cross the 200, of course, unless Apple continues to lose momentum. But it had been gaining momentum, and then last week, as the market saw a bit of a pullback, um, Apple hit this gap of July and immediately dropped back. And that's to be expected. And it dropped back yesterday back to the 20 day um, moving average. Now it's sitting and being supported by the 200 day EMA. But let's take a look at that analyst report. So if we take a look at tip ranks and we look at Apple as analyzed by tip ranks, we see that 29 analysts are still calling it a strong buy, eight a hold, and no one's selling. The average analyst price target is $149.15. It's uh, Mr. Garcha from Credit Suisse today who had the report about the decreased orders for the supply chain. If we click here to see his article, unfortunately the, the um, text extractor from tip ranks didn't give us a summary, but we know it came from marketwatch.com. So if we do a search for Jennifer Booten and everything that she's published, we'll see um, her report right here. So they pulled it from this, which is Apple stock falls on a weak demand for the iPhone 6S. But what else does he say? Apple lowered its component orders by as much as 10%. That points to a weak demand for the 6S. So he lowered his iPhone um, estimate to 222 from 242 and reduced his calendar earnings by 6%. But he still maintains an outperform rating of $140, and the stock right now is trading at $116. Now, there could be several reasons why Apple cut um, their supply chain order. For one thing, these rumors in the past have proven to be not supported. We saw that on the 5S. We saw that on the 6. There's other reasons. It could be because of an optimistic potential for an, a first quarter launch next year of a mini iPhone. So lower cost 4-inch iPhone would draw sales away from perhaps the iPhone 6S. That's one reason. So let's take a look. Uh, the Wall Street Journal article reported much the same. So if you want to take a look at the Wall Street Journal, you'll get more information. But remember also, there's been some rumors about the 7, the iPhone 7, being moved up from September, October of next year to possibly as early as April. And so Apple would definitely want to warn their uh, supply chain that that's a possibility. Of course, they wouldn't tell them about the 7, um, but they would reduce... Um, orders for the first and second quarter of next year. So let's go back and look at those ratings. So let's look at Mr. Uh, Garcha overall, and we can see that Mr. Garcha is almost a five-star rating on, on tip ranks. So he's a pretty good analyst. He's ranked 277 out of nearly 4,000 analysts that tip ranks is following. He has a success ratio of 55% and an average return of 4.6%, so he's slightly outperforming the S&P this year. If you had copied all of his trades um, and held them for one year since 2009, then 55% of your tra tra transactions would have been profitable with an average return of 4.6%. Um, let's take a look at what he's said about Apple in the past. So let's look at, I'm um, sorry, let's go back to him and let's look at all of his 45 ratings for Apple. He's been a buy analyst for Apple all along. If we look at some of his older ratings going back to 2011, he was a buy on this upswing. 
He was a buy when the stock was going down, but then when the stock was going up in 2013 and 2014, he wasn't telling us to buy, he was telling us to hold. So people who were holding and not adding to their portfolio for Apple um, based on his guidance were missing out on a sizable return. You can see where the stock went from about um, $60 to over $100. Uh, this would have been a pre-split price, this would have been a post-split price. Um, but ever since then, all through th out 2015, he's still saying a buy. So here people are selling Apple, but the analyst who made the call is still saying that the stock is a buy. So just take that under consideration. If you want to look at some of his other ratings, you can see that he's been um, recommending a sell on Apple, uh, sorry, on IBM for quite some time, um, and he's been right. <coughs> he's been a sell on BlackBerry, and he's been right. I don't see Siri on IBM for quite some Sorry. <laughs> um, so looking at tip ranks, we can see um, a report uh, on, on this particular analyst's success with Apple. But let's just go back to Apple overall, and I'm about to finish this video. And you can see that no other analysts have weighed in on Apple since he has. So I'm not selling today. I might sell a few calls, um, but I'm not selling any stock. Sorry, I'm still looking at the, um, the target that other analysts have, and I'm holding on to what I have. Um, balancing that with some short calls um, to collect some premium. But I'm going to wait for the next few days and see who follows Credit Suisse and what their opinions might be.